know you do a ton of stuff with rattle trap and I have seen you come out successful in so many tournaments throwing a lipless crankbait, the rattle trap. What it, what's your deal with that? I have, uh, you know, I've caught some good fish on the trap, but I don't have nearly the success it seems like that you do catching them. And I know we're supposed to cast it out there, let it get in the tips of the grass That's and right. rip it free. That's right. What, what are you doing different with the trap that I'm not? Because I don't have nearly the confidence that you do. I seen you throwing it this morning and stuff too. And, and yeah, we didn't get any big fish on it this morning, but I know you got a heck of a lot of confidence in that bait. Oh, absolutely. Well, what is it that's giving you the confidence of what different are you doing with it? Well, there's a, there's a couple of different things that I tend to do that not, I guess everyone may or may not even pay attention to, but angles are really key. Uh -huh. You know, people don't really talk about that, but the angle, you can make the same cast a hundred times and then swing the boat around a different direction and, and throw at it. That angle is what triggers the strike. Uh -huh. You know, depending on how the fish are set up on that particular piece of structure, but you know, I play with the angles a lot. I play with the cadence a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Stop and go retrieve, like you mentioned earlier, yeah. letting it bog down in the grass and ripping it out. Um, sometimes just slow rolling that thing, dude. Yeah. It's, it's deadly. You know, you just let it, you just creeping it back to the boat. You know, and you know, you hear fishermen talk about this all the time. You let the fish tell you what they want. I always start off with the lipless burning it. Real fast retrieve, hitting something, yanking it out. Getting but them to react getting to them it. Getting them to react to okay. it. But they don't always want that. Right. You know, sometimes they, they like it creeped on the bottom. Sometimes they like it yo-yoed. That's another really... Yeah, I, I that's what I do a lot. I constantly yo-yo it, yo -yo let it, it. fall. Because it has heavy. that... Rattle trap's got that nice shimmer to it. Absolutely. They crush it. I catch so many stripers out here yeah. in the delta on the rattle traps. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I still, like... I don't have the confidence that I can go out and get 20, 25 pounds. But I see... I see all these local pros, all these experts. I see you yeah. and guys just constantly wrecking them on that bait. So I, I think I'm going to put it in my hand a little bit more often. The original rattle trap, yeah. uh, the nickel and blue, the crawdad red. I mean, the, the fire tiger pattern. It's all there. The colors I just, are limitless, man. Yeah, they're all over. And then yeah. they've got the new square build that and we're throwing this new, morning. Yeah, Pick yeah, that up. Show gonna, them that. Yeah, check this out here. Yeah. It's a new bait by rattle trap. It's called the Echo. 1.75 and of course we're out on the delta so i brought out one or one of their top sellers and one of my favorite colors is called raven red it's a deep reddish orange with a little bit of gold on it great crawfish imitator right here and uh this time of the year on the california delta the crawfish are really bright and red the water temps are up and so uh this mimics that really well well and the it, real cool part that i seen with this earlier something really cool don't mean to cut you off Mark. no you're good but a lot of the time guys fish balsa around timber Yes. Because it lifts fast. And the thing I noticed this for a plastic bait is it only runs about around three foot range, two and a half, yep. three foot, you know, depending on line diameter, like Mark said earlier. Yep. But when it deflected off something, it came up fast. Yes. Which allowed me to burn it through. I was even bouncing off toolies with that. And That's right. That thing was even coming through grass better than any square bill I fished yet. So it's an awesome little bait, man. Like you mentioned, it's uh it's shape, it's a little more robust and round than your typical uh square bills. Yeah, it's and no it, cookie cutter square bill. And then it has flat sides on top of that and so you know it's really unique in a lot of different aspects but it comes through cover just awesome i mean one of the best i've seen i pretty through shocked cover. yeah no doubt i mean it just comes through the grass the toolies whatever you can run this into which is what you need to be doing to get bit anyways yep. it comes through effortlessly and uh i think they got a winner well i know they got a winner with this one I'm i'm this amped one. for this this next spring and yeah. later this fall oh, yeah. i'm gonna wreck them on that oh, bait. Yeah. it's gonna be a winner man that's for sure that's sick bait man